Hello, my name is Arthur Reed, and I want to welcome you to the Ethics Update for 2019 with Wise Guides. I'm really looking forward to this because all year long, what I do is I look at folks that have done things they probably shouldn't have done, have been caught by the Internal Revenue Service doing those things, and then they are publicly, I'm going to use the word humiliated, by having all of their deeds exposed. So what I do during this time is I read all kinds of documents, all kinds of disclosures, all kinds of newspaper articles, Department of Justice, and I just wait for this day when I can show you some of my favorite people during the year. And so what I'm going to do during this cycle is I'm going to talk about some people. One of the persons is called Lady T. Now Lady T is a great, I, I couldn't believe that she uses that name to do it, but she sometimes goes by Lady T taxes. So if you do a search on these people, you'll find all this information that I'm sharing with you. And oftentimes people who are doing things that they probably shouldn't do from a tax-wise standpoint have different names. And one of her sites that she had was called Mo Money. So if you do searches, this is who you want to talk about. But she's given us a wealth of information. And she represents what I consider to be the number one person for this year that we need to look at. Her real name is Teresa Chisholm. Uh, she's out of Durant, Mississippi. And what we know about her is that she pleaded guilty to preparing and filing a fraudulent tax return. In doing that, and all you have to do for, for tax lawyers is, is plead guilty to one of these and then you're guilty, whether no matter how many you do. So oftentimes when you read those, it's like a single return. It's like there's usually a lot more behind it. But what she did on that is that she included some false wages. She included false self-employment income and expenses, and she also claimed false education credits. These are things which are very typical of fraudsters because what they're tr generally trying to do is generate a refund that is greater than what they should do. Easiest way to do is through the use of credits.